Honored guests, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal hey, fealty! Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment! It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the poor are you the one then? Aha, I thought I recognized you. Like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, 
and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. It is harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. It would be unwise to disobey. The Overseer will show you no mercy. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. is quite cluttered. Pray leap. These old bones. A job well done. Now the next step is to What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Observe your foes carefully and attack as the situation. 
situation demands. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons that have never been done. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down!
Great. Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you are truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it. If you find your strength, buy the curative or have a bit of green on it. When one of the fiends comes for you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I found that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it's a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope that the Sovereign will rid us of it ere long. going. I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone.
Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Pawns are known as crossers of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Well A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Go now, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. There's a ladder here. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest. 
Although the sun is still up. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. Hey all. You a soldier? Could be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be evade. I wasn't so far not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We have found the material. on without delay. By your will arisen.
That was well fought. Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again. Shall we report our results? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. So this is Merv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Pity a Hmm. Well met. Pleasure doing business with you. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Hast thou forgot thy destiny, thy charge? Thy 
That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Goodness, how are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. 
Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Lennart was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw it. What say we gather some information? Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. I made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir. I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit robberant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me. Are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vocations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. You found strength courses through you. It is good. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. What am I to do? You would 
So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Shall we seek some answers? Pray, allow me to open your chest. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I'd say it's goblins of growth! We have no means of exploiting our enemies' weakness. I will protect you. The Arisen has been drenched! One other thing. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. No such letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. It was excellent. I could have done no better. Perhaps you might join the fight yourself. Well said. Expecting it. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. <laughs> An obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. I would gladly be of aid, Arisen. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. 
This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. An ox cart was meant to meet us. Yet, tis nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. I pray my efforts aid your cause. I thank you for the chance to hone my swordsmanship, and in good company at that. It'll be an honor to serve by your side. Trounced our foe, well and true. We must goblin master. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead.
I'd wager there's all to be found here. Poppy's master! It's fierce fire's through. <laughs> I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. The time of our parting has come. Thank you for everything, Arisen. Please dispense with the formalities they exhort.
share myself. The pawns in this party are women all. And yet no two of us are the same. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Now then, which way? Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. got wares of every ilk. Hope to see you again, Air Long. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. The longer the journey, the more supplies will require. I quite agree. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early griffin gets the worm, as they say.
There ought not to be water here. I have an ill feeling about this. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. I'll use this chance to commit myself fully to the study of the arcade. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Seem the ox carts just arrived. You'll be riding in it with us till we reach the capital. <laughs> Goblins! If you value your life, stand and fight, wretch! but we ought not let it hold us in our course. Nicely done! Seems we drove them off. Right. Back into the ox cart with you, and be quick about it. We've had enough delays as tis. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. 
You, and no other, are the Sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Ramon's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? T'would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Chest. I shall take a look inside. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Oh, 
that. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. I find that well met, sir. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. Feeling rested, I trust? Hmm. You seems well met. You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in... I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Oi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, but I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free he will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We ought to see this to its destination. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries are what Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Five. So if all you check the... Price, just remember, hope to see you again.
Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray. Allow me to summarize them for you. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Who was that young man, I wonder? He did not seem a criminal. I cannot imagine why that guard was chasing him. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. We shall remain here. Are you trying to piss me off?
Stay away from me. Huh? Thanks, I suppose. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, it would seem it is true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts, I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspect it as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. The Magistrate seeks a place to quench his thirst for knowledge. Where might we find one, I wonder? Well, I suspected as much. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. It is good to be reunited. the material. Forgive me for being a burden arisen.
in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. My head hurts just thinking about it. Tell is, Vermin was once a Beastron kingdom. Truly? Indeed. Though, tis not widely known among the common folk. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, as a true arisen. A place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you say? Not springs to mind, I'm afraid. Kendrick of the Gracious Hand is versed in many things. Perchance he knows of such a place? There is much we ought to tend to. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen. We have been charged with the fel. There is much we ought to tend to. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. I can assist you with. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Few can afford perpetual generosity. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. 
Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks, Mif. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Let us begin by gathering information. Right you are. What business would you... Your pockets look full. Where could Malcolm have? Perhaps you could try asking the other children. I haven't been able to get much out of them myself. Now there's a hassle I could do without. You don't need a permit to get into Batal. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Was I lacking in devotion? If tis refined you want, go find some noble tart. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together, but I overslept and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Quit staring. I don't appreciate. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. We'd best report back. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste.
We have yet to explore all the corners of this place. It would be a shame if all were overlooked. Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly. Perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. Right you are. Above. Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. Tis surely any scholar's dream. You have my support. We shall remain here. Have you found- Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. I have been waiting for you, Arisen.
I... this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I come back any time? Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? You will want, tis not a matter for prying ears. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. It is done at last. What I wouldn't give for a rest. There is much we ought to tend to. For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, Your Majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. There is much we ought to tend to, while examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds. I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flower. What's more, 
This inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romand. I dare say, twas not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. This might contain useful information. Let's have a look then. Shall await you here, Master. You are the Arisen, yes? The Captain gave me your description. Follow me! One of the other guards spy you. I will be forced to play my part. about anywhere have you business in Batal then you good sir will require
dreams. Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batal. Apparently, even privately owned items will be. They were in my boots. <laughs> if they only knew. I'd sooner stay out of the battle where it got to focus. My head will roll if aught goes awry. Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone were summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. Twas never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. Tis clear that we are allied in purpose. What? You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest, but I've a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Now 
There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap. It was part of a letter. And from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but it is clear that Deezer's schemes run deep. To think, Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deza is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deza's focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you, take this. What could the Queen Regent be plotting? That's odd. Phases. Now there's a name to remember. Trust you fared all right or... the roads despite the hour much obliged the solution eludes me but i'm certain there is i sense eyes upon us oh um i i possess no ill intent i i assure you I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Curiosity. I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. I've all manner of arm. It's for sale. Come. Have yourself a look. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Business. Why now? 
Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. All this revelry in war's wake. I have no time. I do wonder who's behind the mask, but... Got any tales to liven up my day? Another ale can't make my... Can't say I have any tidings to share. Something happened. Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scale all the In here. Open up. Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. 
I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. I'll not forget this in a hurry. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Do take care not to stray so far next time. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty... I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there is aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. 
even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phasus fellow. But what- There is much we ought to tend to, if we are do not forget that we work to serve the citizens. So it seem we have a need to visit the palace. Let us make for the palace, that you might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Pawns aren't permitted entry to the palace. Here we are. You are the Arisen, yes? Follow me! Cautious, Your Majesty. I wish the Minister would be more careful. He takes the Sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. Business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord. If someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently.
surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Might we not complete our delivery while we're here? We need only pass our burden into the hands that await it. You have my support. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Grant. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. We have arrived. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, true to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermond and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. 
Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this Phaser's fellow. But what precisely is their aim? Trevo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Me, if you would. Oof. My pack's grown rather heavy. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Pray, follow me. me if you would. That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes.
Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Do you mind coming over here? Here we are. Very well. I shall return. Water is now invisible. No few times avoids flame at any cost to you. You can douse the oil. our enemy's weakness. Avoid flame at any cost of it. You can be doused in oil. Stay with me, Olivia. Wait right there. was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as well. Boy, do that. The rest of all, give us a hand. Right, then the charade. Scatter the goblin! Get a load of that! Does 
done. Splendid. Brave of you to aid us when you've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. It was a simple patrol mission till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favor if ever there's a chance. Nasty creatures, aren't they? Would you mind coming over here? It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Follow me. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to... If you would. Another statue? Mayhap will yield us all to use. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. Find place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Oh! You've come to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside. Though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. 
Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. Fine! I don't want to fall here! God damn blizzard! Is this where I'm to draw my last? Concern it! Yes, yes, of course. We were speaking of places elsewhere. That old man by the shore. What drives him so unbendingly out into open waters? Curious, isn't it? Perhaps we will understand more in time. In your debt, sir. Thanks to your valor, I shall live to fight another day. I... I am saved! I am in your debt, sir. Thanks to your valor, I shall live to fight... Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Lessening up. Where the Saurian? Splendid. Let us proceed to the next location. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here, Arisen? The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. You're not one of ours. Have you come to save us? Forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance?
Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. The fiend unknown is the most perilous. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Aught has changed since last we came. I hope this does not bode ill. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation. Try to find a moment to gather our strength. Battle is best avoided here. Fails 
destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Tis rather high. It might be beyond our reach. I would gladly be of aid, Arisa. Would you mind coming over here? You went in there to save my fellow soldiers? I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. Hold, sir. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are pleased, sir. Do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. Saurians about master. On to the nearest location. Results. Is the deed done, good arisen? Oh, thank you. Thank you. We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, we'll do our utmost to see the village restored. With this, the peril has passed. Still, perhaps we ought to visit the village again anon, just to be certain. Right you are. We 
have found the material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. That old man by the shore. What drives him so unbendingly out into open waters? Curious, isn't it? Perhaps we will understand more in time. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Dire import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's Eastern Edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Me, if you would. We unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's Eastern Edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. What about the trenched? Remain by your side.
save is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. There's a shorter path we might take now. Allow me to show you. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our lot is rather high. It might be beyond our reach.
We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Tis of dire import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's eastern edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. What's your business with me, Cos? We've been traveling together for some time now, haven't we? As a result, we move as one. Goblins, master! We have no means of exploiting our enemies' weakness. import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's eastern edge. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. I will not fall to Thalas. When Tard be short of the little bay. Pray, follow me.
factors of dire import, we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's eastern edge. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. to Vermin's eastern edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I I'm confident.
At least I go, knowing I fought to the best. Please dispense with the formalities, the Hicks. The false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Berman's Eastern Edge. I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. If no one will do it in my stead, then I suppose I have little choice but to obey. I doubt ice will be of any use against it. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. to you arisen. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. I was sure we were fortunate we are that you should find us when you did. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but the pawns in this party are women all. And yet no two of us are the same. To me, we'll find some rare materials here. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? I can guide you to the place, Arisen, or thereabouts. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way.
this is not happening again. Thank you. Never you fret. We all have our moments. generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Frey, follow me. You there? Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here.
Well met, sir. How the villagers' stairs are sharp as daggers. What is their intent, I wonder? Tis eerie, but we must needs press on. Hmm. How you keep this is the inn. We've roomed the course. Nothing's free in this world. This world. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. To this world I return, ready to put all I've learned to use. I feel refreshed and... Work done gracelessly. It's work done poorly. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Fancy look at my wares? Always a pleasure. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. I hope our coin purse isn't too much lighter. You have my support. Pray, allow me to open your chest. It is a letter most inscrutable, and I fear it will remain as such if we cannot find another piece to this puzzle. Tread carefully. It seems our every step is being watched. Tis eerie, but we must needs press on. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? 
A letter. Oh, -ho. you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Is there aught else you care to ask? If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For tis here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief master. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you see. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there aught else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. <laughs> tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. <laughs> As you like, sir. Oh, you've a sharp eye. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you, Sir Arisen. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz. Not mysterious about it. With our sources, and that's all I'm saying. But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you, I'd try doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? Do to someone else what I just did to you? What could she have meant by that? No fear, Master. I'll...
He made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? Before all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to stray so far next time. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am com- Follow me, if you would. Following along, I trust. Take care not to lose sight of me. Fancy a look at my wares. There's a shorter path we might take now. Allow me to show you. What appears to have changed since we were last here? Let us proceed with due caution. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation.
Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Pray, follow me. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. champion to prevail in the weapon sheet. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but the pawns in this party are wimps they know getting through this door. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. Soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treat. Did to the
foremost hospitality in all. Much obliged. Fires north, but misgivings. Over here, if you please. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? I'm not sure we're making any progress here. We might want to remind ourselves of the particular- There's our quarry now. Seems we were in the right place after all. Understood. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, you've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence, and ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. And with that... As a reward for your mag- You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such a time. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy, indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of- There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim, or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Sways your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern.
We've been had. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. The chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's prey, allow me time to search for a way forward. Is there aught else you would speak of? Do not forget that we work to serve... There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. I'll go and open the chest. Well, take a look while you're here. Might as well take a look while you're he here. eh? Stop by again soon. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. My head will grow if force goes awry. There is much we ought to tend to. Regarding the matter of the God's way, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein, yet official dealings twixt Batal and Vrumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint, but alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part, but as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. Shall we see how Har village fares of late, master? Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. had a thought. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Fascinating. Mayhap this time you use your lantern, master. A different path would serve us better now. I'll lead the way. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say.
One of us is being drenched. Rested as we are, this battle's all to be a We must not go down here. to me to do this. It's not always the way it is. I can't say I'm thrilled, but I'll get it done. me if you would. Concern it. There's a hole in my net. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, if you can believe it. Just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the Chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. 
I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. More Saurians. Let us deliver them a swift end and ensure the village is safe. Careful now. Don't be arisen. Am I here? Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Har Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt. He's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastron to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Ah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrons go causing problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after him. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most. And for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. It was a rotten note to end things on. I do hope Sir Fioran will be all right. Fancy a look at my wares? I'll get that for you. Time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Oh. I shall recall our travels every time I take this piece in hand. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Ready? Bother. Oh, she's getting warmed up.
will never get anywhere if all we do is rest. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. I shan't let them harm you. Strike the power of lightning! Level to train! Fire won't do much good here. Best try a hit for attack. Very well. Back to your side I go. treasure within is an exciting discovery but we ought not to lose our heads Water is nigh invisible in this room. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my roots.
I suppose your wounds won't heal themselves. Best keep still a moment. our enemy's weakness. We hunt a few monsters to start the day off. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to. I'll gather this. It is there no getting through this door?
breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmaster's Borough in Bakhtar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you seek. The Tars Empress has clearly earned the love and respect of her subjects. I've The wise know to expect the unexpected. See what's selling me. What business have you here? You there. Have you a home in Batal? If not, well, look no further. As it so happens, I've one to sell. Now, I've noticed you tend to travel with pawns. Bold choice here in Batal, where they're ill-loved. So I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? Not feeling so keen, are you? Well, dear me. What I can do for you? As long as you please.
always a pleasure. Say, you wish to shine like a jewel among your peers, is that not so? Well, lucky you. I am here to see your wish granted. This place gives me an ill feeling. Can't put a price on Can't put a price on quality. I'm not interested. stumble across some interesting materials. Look around, but be sure to buy all. Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones, carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is. Quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. Look at my wares. What do you think you're doing here? business have you here? Does that make you the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern?
This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Say, have you... I am referring, of course, to ambrosial liqueur. Ah, oh, what I wouldn't give for a cup. <laughs> this tavern is open to travellers of all persuasions. Aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. The pe Her Majesty, Empress Nadinia, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily over. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair. For those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, Mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. I admire your dedication, Master. It is no small feat to hone one's skills so fine. There is always room for improvement, after all. Researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. It seems we already possess what's required of us. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first. No purchases to be made. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you... You dare. A 
I try to take anything with many thanks. A customer there. That changes things. We've obtained that which Miss Flora requested. Should we go and deliver it to her? A person of import, I take it. Very well. I will lead the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Is a chest. I shall take a look inside. <laughs> Master, you would do well to offload some of your supplies, unless you intend to make a living as a merchant. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Mayhap we ought to return for a rest when we're in need of one. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. our enemies weak. an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well, well. That's quite a discovery. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad to purchase any of your unwanted items. Your side. All told, I'm rather satisfied. Are you fit to travel? Fire's fury shan't be evaded against this foe. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Look out, Teresa! We're under attack! I'm 
moment of indecision may spell our doom. Really? Now? Truly? It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Who are you? Uh, no, never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them. Here, take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well to be precise, the crystalline substance from which it is made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Unknown is the most perilous. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. 
Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? My magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Something to note, none of our number are trained in the healing arts. Not like a curative to fill one with Vim. Pray, light your lantern, Master. Whatever's 
to be done. Looking for all two bits of here. Idleness is a luxury. A customer then. That changes Some of us get complacent. More coined. At once, Master. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, the early gripping gets the worm.
Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. Skeletons! Ah! Lightning is ineffective against this foe. These fiends will resurrect so long as their souls remain intact. But fear not! I shall gladly smash every last one. What has stricken you arisen?
That strikes me dead. Truly? Fall back, and I will heal you with my magics. Wait right there. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Let my magic be your weapon. The fury of the elements. It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this mod- I knew you would come, a risen one. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. I simply do. The life force of the Arisen is wreathed in a warmth all its own. It is most distinctive. And I am able to perceive it. Such is how I came to know of your arrival in this world, Arisen. Where it is a most useful ability, as I'm sure you will agree. Of course, it ill-suited the Queen Regent and her plots. I simply do. The life force of the Arisen is wreathed in a warmth all its own. It is most distinctive. And I am able to perceive it. Such is how I came to know of your arrival in this world, Arisen. Wherever you go, I can find you. It is a most useful ability, as I'm sure you will agree. Of course, it ill-suited the Queen Regent and her plots. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you aught I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth. A warmth akin to your own, Arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. Twould seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth, so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if you would learn from him.
my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. So close a call offers no solace in victory. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful... You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. This ox cart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. The work of goblins, mayhap. One cannot be too careful. I shall remain by your side. Some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. Looking to lay your head. 
We've soft beds aplenty. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? A group of bandits has been terrorizing the roads of late, targeting our ox carts and the cargo they carry. They call themselves the Coral Snakes, and they are no common thieves. They are organized and deadly efficient. And worse still, they are without scruples. They have been killing and stealing in equal measure. Devils, the lot of them. What say you? Would you lend your aid and catch it? Many thanks, sir. I should be- You all begin by scouring for their hideout. It must be somewhere near the highway, for that has been their primary target thus far. Mayhap you could learn aught by speaking with some survivors of the raids. You're not getting in here on my watch. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. It was stolen from me while I was delivering it, and if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He's had people killed before, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. That jewel was my last hope. Now it's gone. Unless... Unless you were to find it for me. Would you, sir? I'll oh, pray do a poor man a kindness. The Jedi Orb could be anywhere now. Perchance we ought to speak with someone who has experience in banditry. Sir? Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the border, where quarrels occur every other day. Do you come again? Why? Peruse at your leisure. Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? 
The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night, when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aught's are right with it? Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Rog has been abducted by beasts. W -w what No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris. Think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Greetings. You are the Arisen, are you not? Tell is you travel quite a bit. Tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offal? He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post haste, and in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite Orb on my behalf? You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that I can assure you. Sirs Offulf and Everard each seek the Jadeite Orb. To whom ought we to grant it? Assuming we find the thing at all. The right to decide is yours alone, Master. I've just had a thought. The pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. We must needs uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. Is generally used as a material. <laughs> I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the task. Try not to get hit, unless the back room goes away.
That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early prison gets the world. Gathering materials makes for dull work in dip. get anywhere if all we do is rest. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. Look there. He thinks I spy aught of use. We ought to take a closer look. We cannot break it from this side. True enough. I must. Ah. Now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Ha! Ah. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. say this we've become inseparable our combined might is a force to be reckoned with i say we forge on together for as long as we may fresh and red as we are this battle ought to be a battle we down our guard no more to return let us not get ahead of ourselves the battle will continue Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Well, I shall return. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy. As a matter of fact, 
We could add a warrior to our ranks. What say you, Master? None are more suited for battle in close quarters. fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. What? If we've a destination in mind, an ox guard will get us there. little effort. Tis preferable to walking everywhere, that's for certain.
One can see far to the distance from here. Would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. Right you are. Let us keep this place in mind for when night falls. Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. It is a fair reward. We cannot complain. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. Let us work together. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. The chance you'd like to see it? Why does the old man venture out to sea day after day? What does he seek to prove? No! I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? <laughs> this world's gone to the dogs. Well worth the effort of breaking it.
Well met, son. How might I be of service? I don't know a town. About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you today. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come the morning. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? Aye, I'm quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death. As he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Oh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget and to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything, every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again, if it pleases you. I've tales of plenty to share. Friend, I'd never seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. It was magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these before I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray Nort Grave shall come of it. It seems aught has occurred within the depths of Stormwind Cave. But what? I wonder. I know not what to say. Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. Tis in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. Of course. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Obstacles shan't get the better of us. It must seem to have stumbled into Saurian territory. Fire spirit shan't be against this mode. Let my magic grant you an element of food. Dare I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. I've never seen all like this. 
I'd wager my own to <laughs> moment. Methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find?
Pray, follow me. I'd fain lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. This material is just what we need to better our equipment. We must take proper care of it. Now that is a surprise. Go and open the chest. So, another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Time and again have you sent unto me your minions. Yet repel them I have, and so I shall anew, till I might claim the true world as mine own. Why do you not draw your Blade. <laughs> this battle shall be o'er before it has even begun. You seek not my death. Hmm. Then you are not of the watching one. I am Rothas, founder of the kingdom of Vermin. <laughs> And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's sway. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of Batal. Even from these depths, I have beheld the Batali scuttling about, gathering their fragments. It is a baleful, maddening act to transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. Aye, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact, for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful arisen who were bade come here by the Watching One to end me. The flesh may rot, the soul fragment, yet power, power endures. And it would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Though to what nefarious end, I know not. Yet tis folly, the frolicking of children. 
Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the watching one. I know little of your intent, but I sense in you a powerful will. A will that urges you towards fulfillment of some great feat. I shall grant you this blade. It too is the soul of an arisen. Mine own, in fact. Refined in purest dragon blood. Alas, the ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe it is there you shall find the means to achieve it. Might not one of the bandits in Vernworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk? Pray, allow me to show you the way. I quite agree. It refuses to budge. Mayhap we require a key of some sort. Well, perhaps we've already found something we could use. Let us check our package. Shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Keep your eyes peeled.
This is what we went to all that trouble for. Rarely have I felt so empty. Well worth the effort of breaking it. Are we ignoring the enemy today? Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. I quite agree. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrill. Fair master, core harpies. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Allow me. Wait right there. I'll keep hold of the enemy. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements.
was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Before I forget, is your pack not overburdensome? You carry so much, I worry for your poor spine. You are privy to the goings-on in the Forbidden Magic Research Lab, even among the Batali. Indeed. And the researchers employed there are as tight-lipped as they come. Do the people not question its existence? I should like to know more about its activities, if twere me. something written here given the state of things I fear for the few do come again and I shall remain by your side just tell me what you need and I'll see it come again when you've more coin to spend Interested in my wares? Yeah. Now that won't do. This is all blotchy. I ought. Would that I could spend all day here. I'm feckless. Stop that! Where the story is! Well done! Let my magic surround you with elemental food. Master.
should I do? Looking for all too pretty, mother. I shall be your shadow. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinia during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. We presume that Lord Phasus may be found in his laboratory, a facility conducting research into forbidden magics. Entry beyond this point is clear at a glance that you are not one of them, as you do not wear the provided uniform. I've got my eye on you. This is all wrong. What use are pitiful fragments such as these? What we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Why? Tis an arisen's. This... This is incredible. I've never seen such a luster. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No. Never mind. Is of no consequence. All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a superior godsway, the finest of all created to date. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Phasus even a moment sooner. But wait, no. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Concern it all! <laughs> 
Oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? Worm's Life crystals can only be obtained from drakes. But I suppose I am in no position to decline, even if tis a fool's errand. Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Feel free to take what you require from the laboratory. Now, as I've said, Worm's Life crystals can only be obtained from drakes and their ilk. Seek one out and fell it, if tis within your power. All the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You would be solving two of my problems, then. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? This is private land. You've no business here. Be gone. That is what you wish, Arisen. I'll go on ahead. I'm not sure what to do. Seems my day is looking for all in between. Haven't you a lantern arisen? <laughs> Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Skeletons, Master! One of us has been silenced!
Apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Let my magic infuse your weapon with the fury of the elements. Focus your strength, Arisen! Dare I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as... First blood's always the sweetest. You all right? Halt, I say! Who? Fight! I'll have you! Pursuing yon bandit may well lead us to the fiend's hideout. Come, master. There is not a moment to lose. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favour different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. Oi! Have you lost it? A child was hurt during today's raid. Don't hurt children. That's the rule. Don't tell me you forgot. Sorry. Must have slipped my mind. It's like that, is it? Huh? That what you're gonna tell Lenzo? He says we don't hurt kids, so you better hold it. Who's this then? We've got an intruder. I'll go warn Lenzo. Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, cuz. Poison is a nasty affair. I grant you lightning time.
Well, come see. If you think me a liar, then buy some. On the transference of souls. It is not like to do much harm on its own, but when combined with its twin, the first volume, tis potent indeed. Take care how you use it, sir. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. The Jadeite Orb is safely in hand. Soldiers have been making a fuss over some strange temple in the sea. Ah, oh, how I've longed to embrace my bedroll. I return safe and sound, and I dare say wiser for my travels. I feel refreshed. On, have a look. Not a look forward to much a long day of work. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Welcome. If you think me a liar, then buy the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Hope to see you again. We have acquired a forgery. I cannot speak to its users, though I'm sure we'll think of something. My heart shies from the thought of using it for deception, but that decision is not mine to make. So, how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Ah, splendid. You've my thanks. Before we discuss your reward, however, there is one final matter to which we must attend. You see, in my line of work, trust is paramount. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. Come, I trust old Ibrahim's eye most of all. Let us pay a visit to his little scrap store. Follow my lead. Good day, Ibrahim. Would you be so kind as to examine this jadeite orb? Now, I have a bit of business to attend to while he performs his appraisal. I ask that you await my return here. What is it? 
The appraisal's not yet done. I'm not. He ought to be finished by now. Come, let us go see. You have done your title proud, Arisen. This Jadeite orb is indeed the genuine article. My partners shall be most relieved to hear of its return. You have certainly earned your reward. I trust you will find it satisfactory, and I do hope you will permit me to call upon you again, should aught arise. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Do take care not to stray so far next time. There you are! Pray, tell me, have you found the Jadeite Orb? Oh, thank you, thank you! Now my freedom is assured. Pray, take this. A note isn't much, but I've naught else to offer. Right, I'd best get going. Sir, though we may ne'er meet again, know that I shall remember this kindness as long as I live. Farewell. I fear we have done Sir Offal an unkindness. May he find the strength to weather his troubles. Tis loathsome being the bearer of such ill tidings. Give me a moment to think, will you? As a matter of fact, who could have guessed that so many who were once arisen yet live? So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your purpose. Go on. Beg pardon, sir, but I can't let you on. Um. Oh, I can't complain. This ox cart bound for back but you've got to pay before we depart. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be enough. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Do not despair! I'm coming to your aid! Go where your help is needed!
prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Rather valuable, this. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Indeed arisen. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, is your pack not overburdensome? Oh, you carry so much. I worry for your poor spy.
So, the path splits here. Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path and see where it takes us. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. No, no, no. Am I going to make it? Way. I need to get you out of here before things get bloody. That's what Lento said to do, if we ever got raided. So come on, you lot. We're gonna go see him. He'll keep us all safe, I'm sure of that. They're already here! Run for it! Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. What? Oh, it was but a trick of the light. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Grant you an elemental boon. I don't stand the chance.
My thanks. We shall accompany you now. Those coral snakes must pay for their crimes. We shall join you and aid your efforts however we can. Give no quarter. This appears to be the coral snakes' planet. If we capture their leader, the other bandits might be brought to heal. Fight you are. Treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. You have my support. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Ah, oh, excellent find. Hugo! We're out of time, lad. We'll have 
to Scarpa. Come in, lads, Joe. Ah, but, uh, before I forget, <laughs> here you are. <laughs> Time for you to make yourself useful. This isn't the first time I've taught an unseasoned whelp the meaning of betrayal. <laughs> and it shall be the last! <laughs> I can't believe it. Arrest him! Lanzo? Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be using this hideout again. We'll interrogate the lad and see what he knows. Mayhap he can tell us all of the leader's whereabouts. The coral snakes are still an enigma. Mayhap the lad can tell us more. It was painful to behold how callously the leader treated that young man. He shed him like an old boot. A cheerless outcome for all involved. Treasure chest. Oh, my mistake. It is merely another spot for gathering materials. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. Come to think of it, the private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Fascinating. Allow me. Wait a moment.
so fast, I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. All foes, I can scarce fill my arm from the last battle. It is clear to me that my fate is to aid you. Ah, but which dragon do you seek? The dragon that stole your heart shall appear before you when the time is come. If instead you seek the so-called lesser dragon, you would do well to pay a visit to Dragon's Breath Tower. If it is yet another dragon you seek, then perhaps you ought to search for it yourself. Your feet will guide you no less ably than any revelation on my part. I was gory flame. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. I might be so 
bold as to speak my mind? The private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Water is seeping through here. I wonder what that means. to destroy us. Things, these. 
I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Forgive me, but there's another matter I've been bursting to speak of. Namely, is your pack not over? Oh, carry so much. I worry if you're so far. Come back, and I will heal you with my magic. chest. Oh, my mistake. Tis merely another spot for gathering materials. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Okay. 
it. How are we meant to attack it without moving it? We defeated a fearsome foe and lived to tell the tale. One cannot ask for more than that. Fortune favours us, it would seem. You run so fast. I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. <laughs> <laughs> about this one. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. I should be glad to assist you, Elizabeth. You've my gratitude. Consider it my thanks for all you've done. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Another encounter. I ill like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous day.
work. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. most unfortunate that one of our means of recovery should attract it. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? It is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. One wakestone shard is a mere rock. But combined, they can work miracles. We ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it. ourselves a pat on the back we mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent take each trial as it comes Oh, my God. 
It's taking every ounce of your strength just to remain standing. So this march never end. Ah! Don't encounter any foes. This boulder looks mighty heavy, but we might just be able to move it if we combine our efforts. Does anyone care to push? <laughs> Find some to slip. I can guide you to the place arisen or thereabouts. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. A grim ogre, master! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Me 
he thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Would anyone care to push? <laughs> there, Master! Suck you by! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. <laughs> Worms life crystals can only be obtained from drakes and their ilk. We shall have to find some to slay. He thinks I know the general. Shall I show you the way, Master? We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Don't wait your help with me. These things are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Well done. was superb arisen. Another encounter? I feel like this. We are always in one question about our So close a call offers no solace in victory. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Take care. Ice can be deadly. Wait to find out what's inside.
It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this march never end? I only hope we don't encounter any foes. There's no spice as savory as eating outdoors. Indeed. Here's hoping this remains our usual fare. Hail Arisen, allow me to join you in this trial. Come, I'll lead the way. expect gleaming treasures around every corner. We have but to exploit it. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, count upon my name. Might I be of assistance?
Focus your strength, or is it? none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. is slain. Yet however many I call, the emptiness refuses to fill. For these beasts are but crude imitations of the dragon true. Sigurd, you're the current arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques, Honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Where I've seen what's needed here, amidst what we have in storage. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, scars are medals of valour, and you seem exceptionally well decorated. Your hardships must have been great indeed. Each one is a memory formed at my master's side, and I'm proud you overtaxed yourself at your own peril.
Methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favour different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Each to their own. I could swear I've seen what's needed here, amidst what we have in storage. Look there. He thinks I spy ought of use. We ought to take a closer look. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Ah, oh, now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Thank you, master. I only hope I did not disappoint. Nary a moment. Now that we're here, what did you have in mind, Arisen? Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? my words. Pray, allow me to open your chest. I return safe and sound. 
and I dare say wiser for my travels. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Oh. Hope you slept well? I see it in your eyes. You are ready to learn, and so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities arisen. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more?
I've seen what's in it. And it's what we have in storage. Just recall, I found a treasure chest near here, during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? <laughs> Materials, eh? Certainly arisen. How might I be of aid? You would gather materials here. Oh! 
must strive to see it fulfilled. Leave it to me. I know precisely where we're headed. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. It would seem we've little choice but to set out for the place. Our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become com the road ahead is long, Master. What are fairy stones for if not times such as these? Right you are. Got a good feeling about this one. Get it! Coming, Master. Another statue? Mayhap it will yield us all to views. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Matter of fact, off do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Oh! 
ignoring the enemy today. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. True enough. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Here, the promise of trade brings two cultures together in glorious exchange. It is fascinating to behold. If there's aught my travels have taught me, it is that no boundary can truly divide people's hearts. There's a ladder. So, you seek to go on through. All this quiet makes me itch to cause a stir. What's your problem? Sorry, sir. This ox cart's bound for back. Want on? You'll need to pay up then. Only fools and urchins boast of their coin. yourself an enemy. Out of the car. It's worth shaking. There, master. Saurians. Have no need of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Well done. This ox cart's bound for... one who aided us in storming the Coral Snake's hideout. I've been questioning Hugo, the bandage we took into custody, but he refuses to answer any of my questions. The lad's been sent back to his cell for now, but perhaps I could trouble you to talk with him. I seem to recall that he recognized you. Are you acquainted? At any rate, methinks you might have more success loosening his lips than I. The sight of yon ox cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we climb aboard? Pray.
Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. So you're the one Benjamin sent to get the whelp to talk, eh? Well, go on then. Don't dawdle. And I'll thank you not to distract the jailers from their charge. I would appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. <laughs> what are you here for, huh? Come to give me your pity? Or just have a laugh? I'll not suffer either. Piss off. Ort's got the whelp's tongue, as per usual. I would have thought he'd be glad to start spilling secrets. The leader of the Coral Snakes left him for dead, didn't he? Not sure what's keeping him quiet, but would only be to his benefit were he to tell us all he knows. Boy, enough talk. You've a prisoner to watch. Yes, sir. Apologies, sir. Just piss off. What I can do for you?
Anyone gives me trouble, they'll taste the stink. You've returned. Have you obtained any worm's life crystals? You have? Incredible! That is no small feat. I must admit, I had not thought you much chance of success. Yet here you are. And this, this is precisely what I require to complete my work. I shan't delay. Come by again tomorrow. By then, I will have produced a god's way of unparalleled quality. Sir Arisen, you've come just in time, Sir Ermhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen, come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not reckless in your decision, lest you apprehend the innocent. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life, should it come to that. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. We ask that all be spent. We ask that Batar and we ask that a day may. What's your problem? Sir Arisen, have you located the rogue? Who are ye supposed to be? Fine. Are they onto me? Ah, oh, shot it. Apprehend him at once. That man there is the assassin. Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, Your Majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Batal is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. Grateful are we for...
meet again. What to do? What to do? Lost track of time. This place is too comfortable. Now it is a welcome well, sight. Any easy oh, work. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. It would allow us to save our strength. Assuming we are not attacked, that is. The so-called forbidden magic... We shall remain here. Scripts on this topic. Some skills can only be. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. Now, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You won't reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. There your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Then I wish you good fortune.
Oh, a fairy stone. With that in hand. Gigantus, friend, or foe? I should like to know its purpose. Where is it headed? I cannot but fear it will bring ruin wherever it treads. Retreat soon. I fear we are all lost. We all press on, my lord. Mind not the stone puppets, then. We move. It arose from the sea. What could have summoned it?
Let us do whatever we can to slow it down. It might prove futile, but it's better than watching on in despair. Understood. lumbering frame is riddled with footholds. Should we be bold enough to reach them? And as fortune would have it, cliffs extend on either side. Shall we try jumping down on it from on high? Fear not, it is well in hand. Plenty of places our feet might find purchase on its hulking frame. And as fortune would have it, cliffs extend on either side. Shall we try jumping down on it from on high? Understood.
Your aid would be appreciated. Look out, Tarizan! We're under attack! Unhindered, we'll trample the world entire. But not on our watch. We shall hold it together.
this Gigantus is but a statue before our resolve. Not my words. We shall see it stop. I am well aware of the chest. I shall take a look inside. Speak to me another time. I'm on duty. Ho oh, ho, a ballista. It's not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. The result of volcanic activity, I expect. Remain focused. A clouded mind shall serve you poorly in an ambush. It would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Vermont. W will it really be all right? I I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. The dragon shall be under my control when it appears. Let us press onward.
What is it? Has something happened? You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. The lodgings are that way. Pardon if my heart, if you seek a bed and you've the coin, it's yours. No questions asked. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. I fought many battles in my journey. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Well met, sir. I'll stay with you then. Why? Peruse at your... Pleasure, sir. Do come again. Anything's better than this. The best quality is so It's just another day. A real head scratcher, this. Shift's done. I'm off to the tavern. It's been a hard day. Is pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Break, speak up, should you notice all to miss. Tis some manner of device. Shall we activate it, Arisen? We pawns will be ready to respond, whatever the outcome. I shall be your shadow.
dragon. Heed my call. Your will is mine to command. Curses. This arrival of the true risen is most inopportune. Sovereign of Vermin, the ritual must not be disturbed. Let not the Arisen approach. You can manage that, I trust. It is a vital resource that we have a word of both phases. The Pretender need not be present. Tell her quick! I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. Watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Dragon. By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. You could never understand a reason. We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all. Thou summoned the resolution to face me. Then answer me this. Why dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh, thy stolen heart? Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my claws, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Go, and thou shalt live to claim thy coveted throne.
intriguing. This then is I will. Our party is done. We must fulfill our charges. I as the dragon, and thou as the arisen. Climb upon me. We shall depart for our true battlefield.
hold of the dragon and wait for it to take wing. Never fear. I am... Fight the exposed heart. Understood. Bathe in its fiery breath and strike if it recovers. By your leave. Terrifyingly destructive. 
captive, but in the aftermath, we will prime chance to help you. I am well aware of the particulars. I shall draw its focus.
an ending cycle. Thou shalt live to claim thy cover. Thou wouldst flee. This is the path thou hast chosen. As thy choice is made. Return to thy kingdom. The world thou desired awaiteth thee there. A hollow world, if a restful. to dismantle the world's will just as I do. Yet dost thou know what awaiteth the world should it meet such a fate? Would become a fleeting, fragile, vacuous thing, bereft of the cycle, Lord would be born into its saved chaos, great and terrible. 
away. Pray. Turn back. Leave now, while you can. You have strayed, Arisa. And for what? Lest you forget. You have a world where you belong. There, you are to fell the great evil in your path, and rule the people as their sovereign. For that is who you are. And it is my wish that you should live out that life of purpose. The time has come for you to return. But my children shall see you there safely. Let us go home, together. To a world under your rightful rule. To a world all your own. This is your will? chosen to become sovereign. At the end of your travails, you could have ruled over these lands in perpetual peace. Yet that world of limitless possibilities has ended. You stand now upon its remains, the vestiges of a world that could have been so much more. Innumerable wills have served to deliver this world from extinction time and time again. You alone have refused to carry out that great purpose. What you see before you is the consequence of your apathy. Behold.
How will Sir Hugo fare out in the world in his lonesome? It pains me that we could not aid him in finding a better path. Tis loathsome being the bearer of such ill tidings. What has become of the world? Would that there was someone who could explain this madness. Come to think of it, did not Sir Rotheus speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the seafloor shrine? If this is indeed the world unbound, then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. Not allow this to come to pass. You're the arisen, I. And here I had taken you for dead. I am to inform you that Lord Phasis requests your presence, the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. As to whether you heed him, I care not. What has become of the world? Would that there was someone who could explain this madness. Come to think of it, did not Sir Rotheus speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the seafloor shrine? Ah, arisen. You yet live. Ah. 
I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. One might hypothesize that your pawn is sustained by your vital essence. Or perhaps something more. In any case, we ought to apprise one another of the situation. Is there aught you would know? I found the poor creature collapsed by the wayside near Batal. Recognizing your pawn, I decided to take the ailing thing into my custody. I thought it possible that the Arisen's pawn might hold the key to making sense of all this madness. Alas, try what I might. Your pawn will not wake. Mayhap you will succeed where I could not. The pawn is, after all, yours to command. Indeed, then I shall take my turn. In your absence, I had hoped your pawn might yield me some information. But as you have returned, I would hear the truth from your lips. Tell me, Arisen, what became of you this past month? So, following your plunge into the sea on the dragon's back, some mysterious presence reached out to you. Could that have been the world forged? Yet why would such a being linger in those fathomless depths? I can only speculate. And speculate I shall. This ought to prove a fruitful avenue of investigation. For that I thank you. Now, if you can find a way to end this interminable slumber, your pawn is, of course, free to rejoin you. Oh, Master. How long I've slept? Far too long, it seems. But worry not. Now that I am awake, I shall follow wherever you lead. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Leaving so soon? But we've scarcely begun exploring. It is not for you to question the Arisen's- Scouts there! I doubt ice will be of any use against it. the harm to come to you.
No longer do I feel the probing gaze of the Watching One. Is this your doing? Newest of yours? I am he who brought the dragon low, and o'er its bones raised the proud king of England. Despite the magnitude of my fear, I was dissatisfied and sought ere greater heights. Until at last, I ruled the world entire. Thus did I come to know of the Witching One. The being by whose many eyes and ears no one or thing in this world goes unobserved. As to the purpose with which they watch, Yet I did divine one thing. This world has lain beneath the watching one's unwavering gaze ere the dawn of its history. My hard won glories, my throne astride the world, mere spectacles for the all seeing eye to watch. I was all a farce, and I, exulting in my wooden crown. Do you understand, newest of the arisen? This is why I sought to fell the watching one. Alas, though I cut down all who seemed false, be they man or woman, human or beast, young or old, I did not succeed. My efforts led only to my own ruin. I was dubbed the Mad Sovereign, and by the hand of the new arisen, consigned to this place forevermore. Yes, I can only assume that you have achieved what I could not. How else to explain the changes I sense in the world? Ah, what is a gall that I cannot witness the outcome of myself? Falter not. Newest of the arisen. For your path is just and spirit of I may yet summon those who can be of aid to you. I see you have returned, Arisen One. The Mad Sovereign has called, and so we answer. If you would save the people of this world from ruin, lead them here, for this place may chance to escape the coming destruction. I imagine the people of this world will welcome the tidings that there is a place of refuge awaiting them. I quite agree. The month I spent with Lord Phasus was a queer experience indeed. Though my mind was perpetually unclear, I always felt your presence, Master.
There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Majesty, how glad I am to see you safe. Where have you been this past month? The end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Melf. We received word that naught but a smoke in ruin remains. Twas a tragedy, and I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard-pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city? I see. Mayhap it would be for the best. Ever since the fall of Melv, the citizens of Vernworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. Maintaining order in Vermont must be quite a burden upon the young Regent King. Let us aid him however we may. Understood. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cow within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Melv. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However, I cannot bring myself to leave my own mother behind. If I cannot convince her, I mean to remain here and share in her fate. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate, and I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the ox cart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, 
I fear for her health. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Well, far be it from me to deny you. But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Do with me as you will. I care not what befalls me now. You have brought mother to me, I see. My thanks, friend. You have done me a great service. Sven. You may leave us. Now that we can speak without a door twixt us, I am confident that I can persuade her. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not fall with this city. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. My son. You truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Welcome. And well met. Always a pleasure. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of the coin. You've pushed your luck too far. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourselves, good people. I will have none of this squabbling. Sir Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity. 
unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. Ah, Sir Arisen. You are returned, I see. With the world in such disarray, I could not stand to be away from my homeland. Thus did I return, to render what aid I may. I maintain order as best I can, but for every fire I extinguish, it seems three more are incited behind my back. But enough of my woes. What brings you here? You wish us to evacuate? Mayhap the idea merits some thought. After all, if we sit on our haunches, it is likely only a matter of time before we share the fate of Mel. Alas, the people of Batal are far from united in purpose at present. Should we proceed, unheeding of their divisions, I fear that our efforts would come undone ere long. With every soul at their wit's end, conflict is like to spark at the slightest provocation. As such, before we take any measures, I would have you walk amongst the people, Sir Arisen. Behold their plight with your own eyes. And should you encounter any discord, pray do aught you can to resolve the people's quarrels and assuage their fears. Such efforts will doubtless allow the evacuation to proceed all the more smoothly. As for me, my work here is far from done. Let us part ways for now, and reconvene when you have accomplished all you can. Flared tempers are understandable given the circumstances. Let us aid in mediating the quarrels arising in Bagbatal. That's quite enough! That's it, I've had enough. I've had well enough of your nitpicking. I reckon the world would be better off without you! More must be urged to evacuate. Oi, you! Don't go poking your nose in our business. This is between us. Aye, leave off or we'll make you! Have you lost your bloody mind? Reckon you can just cut us down in the street? What's the matter with you? Eh? Fine, fine. We'll set our squabble aside for today. So bother us no more. You've pushed your luck too far. Got my hopes up for naught. Oi! I saw it first. <laughs> Trust a flea-ridden hide to take it all for himself. Uh, why must I share with a fangless one? This is no more your food than Batal is your land. You there! You couldn't have come at a better time. Put this upstart in his place for me, won't you? Go on, lay into him. If that's what you think, why don't you mind your own business? All right, clear off. Pretty words shan't fill our bellies. That's it, I've had enough. I'll not take that from you. You 
you trying to nick our dinner? Oi, you'd better run. That's enough. You have my protection. Fine, that hurts. We're done for. I ne'er stood a chance. Just riding on your father's coattails! You slander my honor, sir! I demand a duel. This is no business of yours. Be gone! Now, now, Nara, let's not be too hasty. If we are to duel, we ought to have a witness. Otherwise, who's to say the victor fought with honor? Aye, true enough. Without a witness, either of us could simply kill the other, then disavow the use of any underhandedness. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take this scoundrel to task? This knave dared to slight my honor. He said my swordsmanship was hardly fit to wound a training dummy. The bloody nerve of him. <laughs> and I'd say it again. It was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel, not your own skill. This knave did. He said my swordsmanship was. <laughs> it was your dear father's patronage that made you a sentinel. Not your own skill. Very well. I'll not force the issue, but do keep back, lest you become entangled in the fray. Ah! Let us settle this! Once... What's that? Trust in yourself as I trust in you! How dare you interrupt a battle between honorable opponents! Such humiliation shan't go unanswered. Prepare yourself, sir. Keep back! I do not wish to injure you. <laughs> Look at us! Put in our place like a pair of elves! I ought to thank you for holding up a mirror to our foolishness. We've better things to do than squabble over petty slights. Aye, consider your lesson well taught. Methinks I'd best reapply myself to my training. I was most surprised when you intervened in their duel. Did you aim to temper their pride by proving neither your equal? That was certainly worthwhile. Ah, Sir Arisen. In less pressing circumstances, I would take issue with your methods. But I cannot deny your efficacy. The people of Batal are beginning to see that they must stand together if they are to survive this calamity. We shall see the fruits of your labors when the time comes to evacuate. At the very least, we need not expect too much opposition to the announcement. Pray return to Empress Nadinia and apprise her of your doings. I must remain here to ensure no further squabbles arise. Heavens only know how many lives you have saved this day. I hope you'll accept this humble reward for your efforts. What say we report back to Empress Nadinia? Her Majesty ought be willing to commence the evacuation now. Understood. The so-called Forbidden Magic Research Lab appears to have been constructed rather recently. Indeed. 
and the researchers employed there are as tight-lipped as they come. Her Majesty has begun her supplications. None may see her ere they conclude. Stay your hand, Vera. This one may pass. Come hither. We would speak with you. One of our ministers informs us that you have been espied in the city, resolving the people's troubles. You have our gratitude for your efforts, which have doubtless bettered the fate of this nation and its citizenry. Your journey continues, does it not? We wish you good fortune on your travels, wheresoe'er they may take you. Yet, ere we part ways, we would make another request of you. It regards Lord Phasus. Though we have implored the man to join the evacuation, he has staunchly refused to leave this land behind. We thought that he might be more inclined to heed your words, as our own have fallen on deaf ears. Would you be willing to call on him in our stead? Of course, you are free to decline if our proposal is an unwelcome one. Pray excuse the interruption, Your Majesty, but I fear time is upon us. I would see you prepared for the road ahead. Indeed. Forgive us, but we must take our leave. Farewell. That Batal and the rest down are now safely evacuated. I'm certain we can rely upon Sir Manella to keep the peace. That was certainly worthwhile. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good... ...use. Come to think of it, our ranks have gone unchanged for a while now. As a result, we move as one.
Pray stop me, lest I bring you harm.
against a formidable foe. Fortune favors us, it would seem. execution.
You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Revel in the knowledge that this region has escaped its destruction.
I am saved. Thank you, Arisen. The red clouds portend naught but ill omens. There must be a way to force them to recede. There must. seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? We shall await you here, Master. I'd fain aid you, however I may. I've a favor to ask. Might I depend upon you? Thank you. Busy as always, I see.
another battle. With nearly a moment to read. We must try to find a moment to gather our strength. The Arisen has been torched. Quick, douse the blade. Certainly Arisen. How might I be available? The creature is gone. Let us revel in the knowledge that this region has escaped its destruction.
In another world, I learned that a forgotten riftstone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? It is no small wonder that Oxcarts have seized operation given the state of things. Will the day ever come when we might employ one again? A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Paul's can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around me. As it progresses, Paul gradually will be fully in control, and in time will even cease to heed the original thought. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Thank you. My thanks. Will this suffice as a reward? What's this? We're under attack! This is why we must be vigilant. A book. Avoid to make any cost. You can put it down to the oil. Any further harm to come to you?
I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I saw the sky fall, I trust. I doubt you could have missed it. And wherever the sky falls, a dragon soon appears to lay waste to the land. Or so I had assumed, after what befell Melv. Yet aught here appears to be different. Has our ruin been forestalled, or merely postponed? I must examine that creature may well be the key to unraveling the origins of this cataclysm. The path through this rock has been sealed to us. There's naught for it but to search for an autumn... Many parts are close to us. On account of the track of the set, no doubt. But we must find a way to reach it. Confound this obstruction! I suppose I ought to have expected this. Answers were ne'er so easily won. Monsters! Summoned by that beast, no doubt. Principles unproven are as dust on wind. It seems this is the only way forward. 
Up we go. Welcome indeed. I can only hope that the worst is now behind us. Naught can be achieved without sacrifice. Fell powers are twice as terrible in the flesh.
might I be of aid? Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. There it is. The dragon at the heart of all this destruction. we might have learned. <sighs> Never mind. You've your charge, it is true, and the fiends appear to be falling back. But I trust you won't object if I take a sample of its remains. After all, your role is to save this world, and mine is to pursue its secrets. Though this land has seemingly been spared its destruction, there is no guarantee of safety. The oceans yet cloud the skies, and monsters swarm in ever greater numbers. As twill be difficult to continue my research under such conditions, I have decided to evacuate. I only hope that this sanctuary of yours will prove more conducive to my work. Never did I imagine such a dragon could exist. It is a glad thing we felled it. the harm to come to you.
The creature is gone. Let us revel in the knowledge that this region has escaped its destruction. Master, I vow to weigh my every word before speaking. Il men, a kaya, a rume fa in iterond, a tele el. Dahlia, noon, where? In Lala Star. To the chest. I shall take a look inside. Non li attilmo. Chi ha men ran soror? I cannot stand to think that the world might be lost. Non fe nembawe. Can el kemen hum? The sky glows red with fury. I fear for the arbor. It will see those fires. It is no small wonder that ox gods have seized operation given the state of things. Will the day ever come when we might employ one again? I 
dragon was no ordinary being. Formidable though it may be, we must challenge and defeat it all the same.
We must formulate a strategy, else we know her. Now this region shall be safe, at least for the time being. The sky glows red with fury. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've just had a thought. We've encountered all manner of formidable foes, and many times have we been hard pressed. Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Is a fair reward. We cannot complain. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. A ballista. Is a ranged weapon. This could grant us an edge in battle, if we use it well. Thinks these climbs are ill suited to habitation. It is a lonely place to be sure.
Oh! It moves! For what impelled it, I cannot say. Go forth, Talos! May you strike down any dragon in your path! The statue came alive again. It does not appear poised to attack us. Let us keep watch for the time being. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. the futility of your defiance. Lo! A ballista! This could grant us an edge in battle, if we use it well. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen?
granting unto it a will, a duty, an identity. I speak of the dragon. By the great will does the dragon create a cycle, allowing it to forestall the end of this world time and time again. set to unfold. Yet, it seems I will not be there to watch it. Thank you. 